Uganda dominated this year's MTN Marathon, winning both the men and women's 42-kilometer races. Philip Kiplimo led the men in a time of 2 hours and 13 minutes, while Adero Nyakisi won the women's category in a time of 2 hours, 41 minutes. Uh, I'm so very excited to be the winner for, 10, for half marathon. It's my first time. I feel it was not so bad because of the weather. The weather was okay. Uh, there was no challenges because I've trained for it. Since 2016, I went for Olympic. I got some injury there. So since that time, I've not been running. But Commissioner General of Prison offered me easy money to transport me outside to Italy to go and get treatment. So after that treatment, I was given like three years to rest. So this is my first year. The Uganda Athletics Federation, part of the organizers of the marathon, were elated at the performance of Uganda. Today's uh, M10 marathon has been very successful, especially on the side of Uganda, because Uganda has really dominated. She has uh, won the, the M10 42 kilometer marathon, the 21 kilometers, and the 10 kilometers. A number of runners were today treated for muscle pulls, difficulty in breathing, and chest pains. One person even had seizures. With another marathon set to happen next year, medical personnel had advice for the people hoping to take part. To avoid it, it's about fitness and preparation. We actually observe that most, patients, most athletes this time have been very fit and more prepared to it. So we advise that before the next marathon, uh, people start to prepare a few months beforehand. They can do small rounds around the, the city as well as in their neighborhoods so that they get ready and prepared to face uh, a much longer one, like 10 kilometers or 21. Felix Manindo, NTV Weekend Sport.